Well, welcome back. In our last segment, we had created the MIG using alarm zero, recently into 30, and we had MIGs coming down, or instances of the MIGs coming down from the top of the room every second. This time, we're going to use a new function called random and have the MIG coming down at various places at the top of the room. So in order to do that, let's open up object F117, alarm zero, execute the code. We're going to introduce the function right here called random, R-A-N-D-O-M. We're going to give them a number, parenthesis. Now the maximum size of the room is 640. So put that in there. Delete out the 320. Now this random generator will create a number anywhere from 0 to 640. We should have a MIG coming across at various places at the top of the screen. So let's give this a try. Go ahead and start it. And we have the MIG coming down now at various places from 0 to 640. And he's coming down at the same speed. So we need to change that speed. So let's use that random function to change the speed of the MIG. Let's open up the MIG. Create, let's see, here was the code for his speed. His speed was only five. Let's use that random function again. R-E-N-D-O-M. Set of parentheses. And let's put a 15 in here. Let's give him some speed. And to make sure he's not going to go zero or get stuck at the top of the screen, we're going to add the five to it. So now we'll generate a random number anywhere from zero to 15. We'll add five to that. So it could be five all the way up to 20. So let's close this, close this. And start the program. Let's build it and then load it. And we should have a MIG now coming down uh, at various speeds at various places from the top of the screen. And we can see that that seems to be working. He'll be going no slower than 5, which looks like a 5 there, and no faster than 20. So that completes this segment. Thank you.